My name is Frick Rousseau, I'm a senior investigator with environmental crime investigations in South African National Parks. Tell me, what's the first thing you look for when you arrive on a scene like this? Well, on a scene like this, for a start, uh, the ideal is it must be a fairly fresh scene where you can find not only ballistics, but any evidence that the suspect might have left behind. Uh, but for a start, you secure the scene and then look for whatever evidence one can find. They quite often leave behind a water bottle, sometimes a knife breaks, uh, breaks and um, you can retrieve DNA, you can retrieve fingerprints from whatever they left there. What we did here today was basically to look for ballistics, a bullet or a spent cartridge, and we were successful, we found a bullet. And you all come, I notice, armed. Is that because of the worry of possibly being attacked, people still being in the area? Well, the possibility is there, but it's mainly because you are in a game park and there are animals here that would like to make breakfast of you. Uh, so one need protection against uh, dangerous animals and then also the possibility of suspects still maybe on the scene or, or in the vicinity. The poachers are clearly quite well organised. Is there a sophistication to it? What is the modus operandi that you've noticed? They are quite well organised. Um, sophistication in the sense of uh, they do have quite good bush skills. Uh, one don't really find that they use specialised equipment like night vision equipment and binoculars. Quite good bush skills, uh, knowledge of the area that they're working in, and then also the way that they work. They normally would use the cover of darkness to enter the park, walk in as deep as they can, and then exit again the next night, which makes it very difficult for the rangers to track these people for a start, because you cannot physically, visually track at night.